In this quick lesson from the MacU.com, I'm going to show you how to use SetApp, which is a one-of-a-kind app subscription service. When you sign up for SetApp, you're going to download the SetApp app, which I have here. From here in the app, we can browse and install any of the apps offered within SetApp. There are several sections here in the sidebar that break down the apps by category. Click on an app to view a summary of what it does and some screenshots. This will probably remind you a lot of the App Store. The difference with SetApp is you won't be purchasing these apps one by one. As long as you're an active subscriber, any of them can be downloaded and installed on your Mac. I'm going to install the app Paste. To do so, I can either click on the download arrow next to its name here, or click the Install button on the Summary page. Now I can open the app from right here in SetApp, or from my Applications folder. I now have a SetApp folder that contains any apps that I install from SetApp. The Paste app can still be moved out to the Applications folder, or to anywhere else on my Mac that I want to store it. Paste app is going to work normally. It's not a light version or a trial of some kind. And updates to the app are going to occur automatically through SetApp. Paste is a clipboard app that will keep a history of everything on your Mac that's added to the clipboard using the copy command. So if I copy a few pieces of text from the SetApp web page, Then show paste using the menu bar or the shortcut. We can see that all those snippets are available here. Normally, only the last thing copied is available in the Mac clipboard. From paste, we can then click and drag the snippets into a text field or an app like Text Edit. We can also copy an older snippet and then have that available to paste with the shortcut Command-V. So Paste is just one of the dozens of apps available with SetApp. Others that I use regularly are CleanMyMac, which is my absolute favorite Mac maintenance app, Plume, which lets you upload and view your Instagram accounts, Squash, which for those that upload images and graphics to a website is a super quick and easy image compressor. And aside from those, there are also apps for journaling, personal finance, even web design with RapidWeaver. Use the search field up here in SetApp to quickly find a specific app or search by category or the job that the apps do. Setup can be downloaded for free, and all the apps can be used for seven days during the trial period. After that, it costs $10 a month. Give it a try, and you might find quite a few apps that you'll end up using on a regular basis. Thanks for watching.